Hello and welcome to Light Reading's MWC Insider Guide. And I'm joined today by Sandro Tavares, who's from Dell Technologies. And also with us is Adam Mendoza from Intel Telecommunications Solutions. So Sandro, perhaps I could start off with you. Broad question, what do you think will be the big themes at this year's MWC this year? Yeah, so first of all, thanks for having us here. Really excited to have this discussion. And yeah, I mean, I do expect that uh, MWC this year is really going to be a continuation, first of all, in our step towards deploying 5G to its fullest extent, right? So I think it's fair to say that the initial deployments are pretty consolidated right now, uh, but there is a, still a lot more to be done, especially with regards to building the, the enterprise applications that are going to be leveraging uh the the low latency uh capabilities of 5g 5g sa and things like that so that is definitely one of the topics that i expect to see basically spread all across the expo there uh other trends like for example the metaverse for sure are going to be present right but really this is the year where i expected the industry is going to come to show the real applications for 5G in the enterprise domain and where we're going to see like the initial results for, for from initial deployments and then you know the the capabilities and, and the opportunities that are ahead uh, of the industry in general so very excited to be there I, I expect that is going to be a great show so Adam perhaps I can fire the same question to you uh, what do you think will be the dominant themes at this year's MWC? Thank you for the question and for being here. I do agree with Sandra that we're going to see some enterprise interests, certainly uh, with respect to 5G adoption, um, private 5G implementations. But I think that there's other two other major themes that are going on as well. There's a lot of interest in sustainability and what we're doing uh, as an industry and in, in a whole. And it's not just because of uh, you know climate change kinds of considerations. It is definitely about the uh, the dollars and cents associated with these deployments across uh, a number of sites. So I think that that's a, a major theme, sustainability. What are we doing to be able to help with that? Uh, and we do have some, some uh, areas that we're going to be announcing. And then the other one I think is total cost of ownership. Uh, there's, there's definitely a, an interest in figuring out whether or not the disaggregation of the network and the 5G standalone deployment uh, implementations are going to have a financial impact. So I think those are the, the kinds of trends we're gonna see. Okay, well, back to you, Sandro. I mean, what can visitors expect to see at the Dell booth at MWC? Yeah, so after having a great experience in 2022, an event that is that was a little bit smaller than usual, right? First of all, we are expecting to see uh, a full house Right, so we're really looking forward to see an even bigger MWC this year. And what comes to our booth, we're really looking into, uh, well, do justice to these bigger events. So we have elevated our experience. So with more interaction, uh, interactive demos, uh, more experiences for our customers, a, a better looking booth as well as I believe everybody is going to try to do. Uh, and really covering the different aspects of our of our story and our strategy for the telecom business, starting of course from the infrastructure uh, with our solutions like what we announced last year, the infrastructure blocks and so on. Then also talking about other areas that are very important, like of course uh, the the server infrastructure for these disaggregated networks, uh, private wireless. Uh, enterprise applications, as I, as I, as I mentioned, we're going to have a very interesting enterprise case that shows that these type of technologies, they do not only apply to huge companies, huge factories, huge enterprises, but they can be accessible for the smaller players as well. So we're going to be showing that. So really a very interesting mix of, first of all, different technologies that are looking into really activating uh, this ecosystem of open solutions uh, in the telecom world, but also a very strong focus on showing the direct impact of these technologies, of these solutions in 
people's lives and on businesses as well. Because at the end of the day, this is what they're for, right? So yeah, uh, we are looking forward to host our customers in our booth and uh, we are confident that we're we are gonna offer a great experience to them. And uh, Adam, what about Intel? What's Intel showcasing at its booth at uh, MWC? Well, we have a variety of different demos that are going to be there uh, back to also uh, what Sandra was mentioning in terms of real world implementations. Um, so Dell will be highlighted in three of the demos that are going to be in our booth. We have one with uh, with our uh, partnership uh, for Microsoft Azure for operators uh, that's showing essentially a, a, a how the world is is evolving uh, to include a hyperscaler model with AT&T, Microsoft, Dell and Intel. We also have another implementation that's for emergency services where we're showing off how accelerated uh, networking technologies uh, can be utilized for dense urban environments. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty exciting one because that's very pragmatic, very practical. Uh, and then the final one is actually a VRAN implementation with some of our partners, uh, Samsung, as well as Dell and Intel to be able to highlight uh, essentially the deployment of a disaggregated network. As an added bonus, we also have a VRAN wall that uh, where Dell will be prominently uh, displayed as far as the new platforms, the XR platforms. And, uh, and we're excited about being able to have that. That's gonna be an, uh, an interactive experience where uh, anybody who's attending can come up to the wall, essentially get additional information about the, the platform itself, uh, its applicability and use cases. So pretty happy about all the things that we've managed to accomplish. Uh, and we expect a really big show this year. Okay, well, Adam, if I can just stay with you for the minute, uh, what do you hope to achieve during your time in Barcelona? I think that the, the, the primary area that we want to be able to enlist our customers, our joint customers in, is in adopting the, the newly released um, 16G platforms based upon Intel's fourth generation uh, Xeon processors. That's our Sapphire Rapids code name. Uh, that's pretty exciting. It's brand new and it is very applicable uh, in the first half uh, to our 5G core direction, uh, joint direction with Dell. And uh, in the second half, we will then have an additional offering that uh, includes a, a VRAN accelerating implementation called VRAN Boost. So uh, both of these features are going to be something that is going to be uh, highly uh, touted at the, at the show. Oh, and we expect that we have customers who want to do proof of concepts. Okay, and Sandro, the, the same question to you. What do you hope to achieve during MWC? Yeah, so uh, the way we are positioning Dow in the telecom industry is really as a as a player that can help accelerate the development of an open telecom ecosystem, bringing new partners and really helping catalyze the process of disaggregating the network. That passes through working with communication service providers and partners as well, be them companies like Intel, independent software vendors, network equipment providers, to really get this ecosystem moving, right? We see that the individual pieces are out there. We really need a catalyst to actually get these new solutions out there uh, get them productized and out on the market to be deployed at CSPs and then sold to enterprise customers. So our main objective is to really, uh, while we are at MWC, establish all these contacts. Uh, first of all, show the, the progress that we have achieved so far, but also establish the foundation for even further developments uh, around these, these uh, ecosystem, really try to create a community around it so we can speed up innovation and launch new applications for 5G and beyond faster, right? So yeah, we're gonna be meeting with a lot of customers, uh, especially telecom operators, communication service providers, and partners as well, uh, to not only discuss the successes that we had in 2022, but really set the stage for the advancements uh, that we're going to see in 2023 around uh, the evolution of these open and disaggregated telecommunications networks. Okay, Sandro, and perhaps is it possible, can you talk a little bit about the importance of the Intel partnership to Dell? 
Absolutely. So the, our partnership with Intel is key to our strategy, not only in telecom, but all across the company, right? So we have a very close relationship uh, in the development of our products and providing input for the development of Intel Silicon as well. So it is a, a partnership that is that is key to our to our business and will continue to be like that in the future. So we really appreciate the opportunity of working together with Intel, collaborating with them to move, as I said, to move forward uh, with the process of opening and disaggregating uh, the telecommunications ecosystem, right? So it is, uh, it is always that. Yeah, it is, it is a partnership that is highly regard, regarded across the company, and it's always great to work with our colleagues at Intel. And Adam, the importance of the Dell partnership to Intel. Could you elaborate on that? Certainly, and and thank you, Sandro, for those uh, kind words. Um, the this partnership is over 30 years uh, in in the making and will continue off into decades so the uh, the key aspects of i think the partnership is what our customers have come to expect and the trust that we have built in being able to put solutions together uh, and have them solve real business problems uh, this is where essentially we've worked really hard to be able to be as proactive as possible uh, with uh, Dell Technologies, with Dell Technologies customer base in order for us to be able to understand uh, the kinds of challenges and the, the kinds of business problems that are that we want to overcome, whether it's telecommunications, retail, enterprise, uh, you name it, and then uh, be able to bring those solutions, codify them, and then be able to, to then essentially establish a new standard of a, a high quality implementation that is incredibly reliable and as reliable as our two brands. And I think that that's really what, what the uh, relationship is all about. Okay, Adam, Sandro, thank you very much for joining us today. And I wish you both a very successful MWC. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.